Hi, Sharon LaFlam from Creating Serenity Now, and I'm here to talk to you about maybe a possible attachment breach, the insecure attachment with your caregiver, which now shows up as desperation, clinging, begging, if a relationship is about to fall apart. Why do I act like that? Well, it happens in your nervous system way back when you were little, right? And you're little. And we have these needs, we need to be fed, we need to have our diaper change, we need to be warm, more. We're, we're too cold. We can't take care of that when we're very young. We need an attachment. And this attachment is necessary, it's a need. It is not something I just want. We have to have it to survive. Our life is at stake. We also have these energetic needs. We, we need to be attuned. We need this caregiver, this body, this soul needs to know that somebody loves me and is attuning to me and is telling me how important I am so that I can build this sense of important and being enough in this world. So let's say that your caregiver wasn't able to show up for whatever reason consistently. Now they don't need to show up 100% of the time, but they need to show up consistently enough. When you cry out, I'm tired, or I need something, and the, and the cry is just a little whine or whimper, and then you ramp it up because the pain of not being taken care of, or the hunger pains, or whatever, and still nobody's there, right? And this happens over and over and over again, which really can just because of the way society socializes parents to treat babies. So what you could do to manage this is you could learn that if I cry long enough, if I complain long enough, if I cling, if I struggle and reach out and cry out, my needs might get met. And you bring that into your adult relationships, if you don't heal that from the early part in your life. Um, so that's just one aspect of why you might be desperate to not have a relationship that, you know, it might not be a healthy relationship, but it's something and it's someone and you cling. And that could explain it. And if you know somebody that has a need to hear this, like understand this, to know what is driving me. Because it's not willpower that drives us and it's not our thoughts that drive us. It's our needs, it's our autonomic nervous system that drives us and it's always keeping us safe. And as a certified somatic experiencing practitioner, I support, facilitate and help people heal those basic needs and wounds and move forward into healthier, higher consciousnesses. So I want to wish you a namaste. Please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, and reach out with a comment if you would like.